Hi, my name's Jeannie. I absolutely love art, I love teaching, and I love seeing the spark in people's eyes when they can do something they don't think they can do. Most people go through life having some problem with something like art because somewhere along the line they've been told they can't. I think that most people can do anything if they really want to and if they've got a good teacher. And so far it's proved itself many times over. When I teach, I'm a great believer that the primary problem we have with learning to do art is that we don't really know how to look. Now it sounds crazy and we think we look all the time, but in fact we constantly filter what we see by what we expect to see. A wonderful example of that is this portrait here of my daughter. My daughter actually looks very, very much like me. But one of the problems with that is that when I look at her, I see defects and faults in her that I don't like in myself. So with this painting of my daughter, to make it as accurate as it is, I painted the entire picture upside down. So by changing my perspective, I came away from dealing with my own personal issues and only dealt with the painting itself. Here was something I'd never done before, I'd been pretty poor at school. Uh, so for someone to tell me I could produce art, I wanted to hear and see it. So with this painting here, I remember Michael going away extremely proud of himself. I think it's a beautiful little picture for the first time out. And as I said, that was by the end of three hours. We also went on to some sketching, but then we concluded on that occasion with this painting. Now in this painting, we continued the whole theme of reflections, but took it even further and also went in far more strongly to bringing in a source of light and a direction of light and aspects like this. And here you'll see Michael really then had the confidence built. He was getting so self-assured it was unbelievable. That, for me, this, uh, when it was finished, um, just gave a, a wow factor for me and a huge sense of achievement and kind of released that spirit of hope of doing further things. But I really believe that sometimes in life today we don't look at the bigger picture. We look at things in such minuscule detail and we rush to criticise. One of the best things I was ever taught when I was teacher training was if you need to put red ink across someone's work or criticise them, firstly, you should look at your ability to teach. Back in a native village, Everybody sang, everybody danced, everybody did art, and everyone has the right to, and I like giving everyone the permission to. 